Hi everybody, I have a quick bonus burn workout for you today. We are going to focus completely on the core. It's only going to take 12 minutes. We have 10 seconds of rest between each exercise and 50 seconds maximum repetitions. You don't need any equipment. We're not getting up and down, so we will be down on the mat the entire time. I'm going to get my watch started here. I like to track my workouts. And let's get started. We have 10 seconds of prep. And we'll actually have 10 seconds of rest before we start. We're going to start with a crunch and tap. So lay back on the mat. Belly button pulls in toward your back. You still have 10 seconds. Hands are going to come behind your head. Shoulder blades stay lifted the whole time. Feet stay up. Belly stays pulling in. Bring the ribs and your upper body toward your thighs. And then tap your heels. Tap. Keeping that head lifted. Breathe through it. So even though we're going for max reps, we still want a nice controlled movement. We're not using any momentum. We're really keeping that core engaged and working the whole time. Breathe. We're getting there. And we're keeping those low abs really working as we do that slow tap. Last few seconds. Okay, good job. Next, we're going to have a T twist. So we're going to stay laying back on the mat. Arms are going to come out in a T. Top leg is going to lift. Bottom leg is going to hover. And we're going to do all one side. So we're reaching toward that opposite ankle. Breathe. Or as high as you can get. You'll feel those muscles working. Find that T in between. Breathe. I feel the burn. I hope you guys do too. Breathe. Keep going. You can do this. Less than 10 seconds. Keep that belly button pulling in. Okay, same thing, other side to rest. Rest those core muscles for a second. They probably need it, mind you. Get ready for the other side. Twist. Breathe. Belly button pulls down. You've got this. Keep going. We are getting there. Less than five seconds. Good job. Next we have sit through holds. So one knee is going to hover, one foot, entire foot is going to hover, and we're going slow with this motion. So my left leg is lifted, and then I'm going to sit it through, hold, hover, hold, sit it through, and hold. Come back. Here we go. Now I can actually move a little bit better. Hold it. And try and keep that foot hovering. So when you get back to that beast pose, this leg is still hovering. Breathe. Almost there. Get in one more. Same thing, other side. I'm going to switch directions. Find that good beast pose in between. 
three. Doing good. Hold and hold. We're getting there, guys. Less than ten. Good job. Next, we're going to have a reverse crunch. So we're going to lay on our bellies. Hands behind our head. Toes planted into the ground. And we're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. You can keep your hands behind your head if you want. I keep mine kind of hovering. Breathe. Good job. Trying to make as much space between your chest and the floor as possible. Doing great, keep moving. Less than five seconds. Good job. And next we have crossover can can. So hovering leg is going to stay straight. Top leg is going to cross and tap, 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 tap. Belly stays pulled in toward the mat. You can keep your hands on your waist if you want to really feel those ab muscles working, or bring them behind your head. Your choice. Tap and tap. Doing fantastic. Just keep moving. Belly pulls in. You've got this. Don't quit. If you stop, get right back into it. You can do this. Last few seconds. Okay, same thing, other leg. So other leg is going to hover this time. And if you can't tap the floor, that's fine. Just bring it over and back, over and back. Breathe. Belly pulls in. Doing great. Keep going. Breathe through it. I know it's getting tough. You can do this. Almost there. Last few seconds. Okay, next we have a down dog elevator. So we're going to start in down dog. This is all one side. Down dog, knee comes as close to your armpit as you can get it. Back down to your wrist and then back up. So elevator, down and up, bring it back. Breathe. Doing good. We're getting there, guys. Last one. Other side is next. Almost at the end. Down dog, bring it through that elevator. Keep 
Keep going. You are strong. You can do this. Less than 10 seconds. Okay. And side heel toe tap. We're going to lay on one side. This is the last two exercises. It's a right and left. We're going to start back leg stretching behind. Tap the toe down. Switch. Tap the heel down. Switch. Toe. And heel. And you can put your hand on your obliques if you want to feel those muscles working. Good job. Doing excellent. Keep going. Almost there. Same thing, other side. We're finishing up. So really get that foot nice and far back behind you. Toe and heel. Breathe. Belly pulls in toward your back. Doing good. Keep going. Last exercise. You can make it through this. You made it this far. Less than 10 seconds left. Almost there. Excellent job, guys. Okay, so really nice bonus burn. Um, short, sweet, we worked all the muscles of the core. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. If you got a favorite move, let me know. Uh, hopefully you are feeling the burn and enjoying this week's schedule. As always, this workout, along with hundreds of other workouts and this week's workout schedule, are free on my website. We're gonna do our happy dance now. Dance. Um, so you can find those at vendorfitness.com. And if you're able to make a donation to keep us free and sustainable, go to patreon.com slash vendorfitness. We appreciate you guys. You guys help keep us making these workouts. So thank you, and I will see you soon with a new workout. Bye, guys.